Hello, and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 3. Last time we secured our lands, and there are no more wars, ignoring this one, as in no more wars against us within our lands. Fantastic. Crown Authority is the level that we had it when we took over. Fantastic. We are also in a great position in general for sorting out the next generation as we have our son who is zero years old so we can potentially get him arranged to a marriage we can start looking at things we could maybe even divorce our wife if we wanted to now and have a look for a better marriage or all sorts of things so there's a lot that we can do but what do we need to do well in five years everybody who just declared war against us in that civil war for liberty can declare war again right so we have five years to make it so that they don't. That's step number one. That's the most important thing that we need to do. Step number two is we need to get money. We need to get about a thousand gold. Why do we need a thousand gold? Well, so we can pay the Iron Bank, uh, bank back the thousand gold that we owe them. And I think they come back after about five years as well. So we need that. Actually, we probably need more because it did say plus interest, but I don't know what the interest rates are in Westeros. Although I guess actually the Iron Bank is located in Bravos, so I don't know what the interest rates are in Essos. But anyway, doesn't really matter. So, where are we going to get started? What are we going to do? Um, I think the first thing for us to do is have a look at our lifestyles. So we can change that in three years. Oh yeah, also people were asking in the uh, comments, why do I have it paused for so long? Why is half the episode usually paused? Well, basically it's because planning ahead gets you good situations. If you plan for every eventuality, then unpause, then when something pops up, you'll be prepared for it. It's basically as simple as that. Um, there are people who asked me when we in our last campaign, we had a huge empire, right? It spanned the entire world. It ended up being a world conquest. And they were like, how's the empire stable? And my answer is not too exciting. It's simply, well, you know, I planned ahead and when it looked like something was gonna go bad, I stopped it, right? Basically, it's that simple. So that's the reason why we have it paused so long, is that if we plan for what we want to have happen, then it'll happen. It's crazy, I know. Uh, amazing concepts. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this first. How much debt do we need to pay back? So we need to pay back 1,200. So that's the, that's the value that we need. Okay, cool. Uh, we need a wet nurse. That's something else to do. Uh, so we'll see if we have anybody available for that. We need a maester. Okay, and we're above our domain limit. Uh, okay, so I think I should probably get rid of whichever one of these is worth the least. So that is 35 control making us 0 0.26. Middler point is 100 control making us 1.7. I think getting rid of Lowell is probably good, although it does have other bits with it. So we could in theory take these as well if we wanted to at some point. Let's just have a look here. Uh, so my income is 0 0.2 due to this. I don't want to look at the, the negatives here. I just want to look at the positives. So that's going to be about 0 0.5. Yeah, it's 0 0.5. So it's middle or point mostly making it due to being my realm capital. Yeah, so it's giving us one for realm capital. So let's immediately move it. I'm going to move my realm capital to Castly Rock uh, because I want our realm capital to be Castly Rock. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense. We get a lot of bonuses here. Like, we get 40% extra holding taxes. Meaning that instead of getting 1 gold, we get 1.4. Yeah, it just makes sense. Castly Rock is our capital. There we go. So now Midlore Point is a lot worse. And the Castly Rock is a lot better. Remembering that this is with it being lower due to county control. And we can actually get this up. And then if we can get rid of lack of sheriffs at the same time. We're going to make a lot of money off of that. So let's get you to increase control in county. Right. So that makes sense to me. Also I need to sort out my council as well. Okay we'll do that in a second. Uh, now we need to get rid of one of these. Uh, Castamere. Castamere how much are you worth? Okay it's not going to tell me is it? Is it actually worth zero? That can't be right. Is it's a oh it is it's a ruin. Oh. In which case it's literally worth zero. Oh. Okay. Um In which case, like I don't really need it, right? It literally gives us nothing. It's um pointless. Uh we can't even like fix the ruin. Right? Yeah, it's a ruin. Okay, I'm going to grant that to somebody else. 
Uh, there we go. You can now hold it. Now Restore Ruins appears. Okay, so I don't think we were ever meant to hold Castmere. I think Castmere was meant to be held by one of the Ruin characters that we've seen previously. Okay, cool. We're now above our Vassal limit. Okay, we'll worry about that in a second. Right, uh, I don't need to worry about Daenerys anymore. She's too old for uh, it to matter right now. Also, apparently she's somewhere weird. Oh yeah, she's she's gone to the uh, northern part of the world. Okay, cool. Um, let's not worry about her. Cool. Uh, back over here. So this should now earn us a lot more. This will hopefully earn us more once we get control up. This is going to earn us some amount. We don't necessarily need it, but we'll keep it for now until we work out exactly where we're at. Cool. Next step. Uh, let's do our council next. Yeah. So, uh, what we're looking for is non-powerful vassals on our council. We want to replace them with powerful vassals who are good at the job. Um, okay. Let's start with our spy master. So we have a powerful vassal. He's one less in skill, but he's significant. Yeah, he's one less in skill, but he's strong. So he's that's going to help us. Yeah, he's a powerful vassal. We want him to like us. There we go. I think that's fine. He's not going to be significantly worse at the job, but it's going to be better to have him in the position. Next, uh, Master at Arms. You're not good enough. Yeah, and um, yeah, you're just not good enough, unfortunately. Admiral. You could be our Admiral, probably. I wouldn't be uh, opposed. Apparently one of these is based off of Marshall and the other one is based off of... Uh, stewardship, I don't know which is which. I assume this must be Marshall and this must be Stewardship. Just from my guess, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. Um, if I go Stewardship here, do we have a powerful... Actually, should show us powerful vassals first. Uh, yes, yeah, so none of them are really good at this. I could maybe put in Lord Martin if I wanted to. If I wanted to move somebody. Apparently, he's not eligible. Why are you not eligible to be an Admiral? I don't know. Why are you not e eligible? Couldn't tell you. I'm looking at him. I couldn't find a reason. Okay. Uh, Chancellor? We can lose two points, although you're already a powerful vassal. Are you good at anything else? You're kind of okay at, ma at being a master at arms. Uh, yeah, I think we take the hit here. So we lose one month of progress on that. We then replace you... With this person, so we lose a little bit of max uh, opinion here, but now we have a new person who's also a powerful vassal, which means that um, you will like me better, because if you're a powerful vassal and you're not in the council, you are very unhappy. Here, uh, I actually don't know what I want here. I guess I could put in Patrick. Um, that would be fine. Of House Malister, who actually quite likes me for some reason. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's put in Patrick of House Malister. He is worse at that job, but he could do Oversee Realm. He could give us Renown per month. That's not bad. Make give Increased Counselor Opinion. Yeah, for now, that's fine. Increased Counselor Opinion. Then our Admiral. Uh, yeah, no, I don't really have a good, a a good Admiral here. He would be... Yeah, I have some people who would be better at the job, but nobody who would be like, um... Yeah, I have people who would be better at the job, but nobody who's significantly better. You know what we could do? This is 4.5. I'm going to put Armand in charge. So that is now 2.5. So yeah, this is based off of stewardship. Ah, there you go. It, it changes it at the top. And this one's, cha uh, this one's uh, Marshall. Okay, so we want the best stewardship. The reason I, I switched there is because I knew that... This guy was one better on stewardship, so I was like, we can use it as a test opportunity. Yeah, there you go. So you can make me a little extra in tax there. Wonderful. Right. That seems fine. Uh, and our biggest expense is no longer troops, so we don't need you on chivalry. We can instead put you on something like assist ruler or manage domain. Uh, what if I turn you on to manage domain? Make a little extra. Honestly, just assist ruler right now. Just give me a stat up across the board. Okay, that's fine. By the way, we are also Stannis' master at Whispers, which is great. 
uh, we would love to go further into that and, and we get lots of bonuses for doing that if we want to um, but we can't change for another three years so that's fine right next step uh, we are above our vassal limit by one so this means we need to fix our vassals uh, we have 60 out of uh, sorry 61 out of 60 possible vassals okay so the thing that you do here to fix this is immediately you look at this and you go okay do I have any um, county people here that I would like to be in a duchy so what I'm going to do is go find character we're going to have a look at direct relations we're looking for direct vassals uh, not all of them count which is why we're at 71 not at 61 uh, we're going to sort by rank and actually we're going to sort by rank uh, in the other direction and we're just going to go through these like okay you are Lord Willem of Wainwood where is that as part of Castly Rock okay you're fine you are Lord whatever a Baron Tack that's fine Lady Pauline of Orstack I'm expecting the first couple to all be fairly straightforward Latchford so actually, I think if it says barony tier, we don't need to worry about it. The Roar. Caster Bridge. Caster Isle. Uh, there we go. County tier. This is the ones where we want to start. So let's start with Tamerlan. Tamerlan is over here. Tamerlan is the jure part of the high, high duchy of the Drainlands, which does not currently exist. Okay. Uh, it looks like Grimholm and Runestone hold land here. What's the de jure size of Runestone? Well, Runestone is down here de jure, so you're holding land that you shouldn't hold. I think this could be part of Grimholm. What's de, what's that de jure? Okay, yeah. You know what? Old Liege, I am going to give you a vassal. For now, you can have that vassal. He'll like us for it. That's good. Okay, and he probably desires our land anyway, so we're just evening things up here. Right, and now we're not over our vassal limit, and that's all we need to do. Um, if we had any that actually fit into a duchy that was already cre uh, created, it would tell us that here, but we don't. Uh, and the reason I decided to stop there is I realized that actually, to do it properly, we need money, and we don't have money. So, that's fine. Next up, we would need to employ a wet nurse. That's an important role for us. It's worth spending the money on because it makes my child better. We don't have anybody who's eligible. That must be why it said that we can search for one. Okay. Uh, we also need a maester. So I will hire a maester. Which means that we need to do the same thing. We need to send for a maester from the citadel. Can I do that without mu uh, having money? Let's see. Maybe. Uh, there we go. Yes, it's in the import uh, major decision. So let's do that. Right. Uh, next up, uh, do we want to change uh, to the local culture of our capital? So do we want to be Westerman? Let's see what our options are. So Westerman gets us metal workers, which doesn't matter. It makes your army uh, gold maintenance go up. Hill dwellers, um, not that important. Legalistic. Increases your vassal limit, which is interesting. Available tax jurisdictions? I have no idea what that is, and I don't think it applies to the mod. <laughs> uh, Laura's title creation cost. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Um, formation fighting experts. Okay. Maritime mercantilism makes trade port uh, buildings slightly better. Makes coastal buildings provide 10% tax. Ooh, that's pretty good. Of gold and silver. Uh, so we get extra things from quarries. Okay. And uh, different culture peasant factions and populist factions are less common. That's useful given that we've got a mix. What does Fingerman give us? Insular marriage, not that important. Uh, gold from winning defensive wars, not that important. Oh, defensive war peace acceptance. I want. Did that affect us in the Liberty War? I don't remember. I don't think it did. Um, we can get cattle pastures earlier. Modest, humble service. 
it does make our trade port slightly better, but I actually think that I'm quite happy to uh, switch. Although we do get finger scouts if we're at this one. Yeah, I think we're happy to switch. I think I think we should switch to uh, Westerlands or Westerman culture. It will also make my vassals like me a lot more. It will make some of my vassals like me a lot more. I should say, not all of them. That's okay. Right. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Where are we going next? I think that might be fine. I think we might be good. Oh no, accolades need successors. So the captain's captain, which we got purely because it gives you captains. Uh, we'll seek a worthy successor to that one. The other one is the bearer of the Lord's raiment. Somebody said there was a way of finding out uh, how you, what what ones they they could be, uh, or like what a knight could be uh, somehow, uh, without having to be on this screen. Um, I need to go and look at that and figure that out at some point because that would be useful. But right now, um, was it Armand? I think it was Armand. There we go. You can be my uh, bearer of the Lord's raiment. Okay. And hey, you're at level 2, almost level 3. Nice. Okay. I mean, most of it's to do with uh, being better um, at uh, being in tournaments, but whatever. I mean, that's fine. Right. Uh, not employing a wet nurse, not doing a maester. You desire a council position. I'm sorry. Well, like, if you want one, be better. That's fine. Right. Let's unpause for a second. Let things roll. Some people converted with us, interestingly. Okay. New Maester of Castly Rock. I hate having to pay, you know, this much for him, but we need a Maester. Because he's also our teacher, so he teaches our children, so that's fine. Yeah, you seem good. He's also fairly young, which is actually pretty good, because it means you don't have to pay again for a while. Right. Search for a wet nurse. Um... With a mind to provide the best care of care to our child, I've had my functionaries seek out an able woman for the role of wet nurse. They now present a few locals for my judgment. So we could go with Taishara, who is good. Jocelyn, who is poor. Or I don't like any of them. Uh, we will go with Taishara, who is good. Okay. I mean, I know it cost us another hundred gold, but we needed to do it. Right. Let's speed things up. We are now the new head of the Westman culture, and Castly Rock lost lack of sheriffs, which is great. So now... Holding taxes are up 20% in Castly Rock. Huge news. Um, oh, okay. This person doesn't have any money for us, but he would like to, uh, you know, come to and give us some homage, which is nice. It gives us a little extra um, renown, which is cool. Uh, is there anything I need to do in terms of these things? No, there's not really a lot le that I had left, huh? You could get rid of the Lucky Rabbit's Paw for some money, I suppose. Yeah, we did pick up a few extra things, didn't we? We must have picked some of these up in, um, yeah, in sieges. Oh, well, I'll destroy them for, for their uh, monetary value. That's fine. We got anything in our um, royal court? Oh, wow, our royal court looks a lot different now, huh? That's very impressive. That's that's very cool. I like that we get to have it, um, we, we get to actually be in Castly Rock. Yeah, neat. Uh, I could start paying for these again, but again, we have no money, so like... Oh well. I can't afford them. I hope it would not come to this, but I'm left with no other option. I must rescind your appointment at Master of Whispers of the Iron Throne effective immediately. How could you do this? That's my income. Stannis. How could you do that to me? I'm not even on his council anymore. Who did you put in charge instead? Lord Ronit! He might have had a hook on Stannis and forced me out, to be honest. Your liege has no court chaplain. Heathen. That's what he is. You have no money? Alright, well, I mean, welcome in, person with no money. Thank you for swearing your loyalty to me. I'm going to take Serve the Crown here. Gives us natural growth, which is wonderful. Kind of thing. Oh, sorry, natural dread and uh, control growth, which is nice. So, it means that we're going to get control in Lowell now, which currently we weren't getting any in. So, that's good. It's now taking up instead of, I think it was actually taking down previously. So, yeah, that's good. How are we looking, Castly Rock? 68 there. Can I see how uh, long it is? 14 months. 
Okay, cool. Uh, you would let me be your steward? Alright. <laughs> I'll take the position. I'm not picky. Now, yes, it doesn't give us the intrigue stuff that we want, but it does give us 10% domain taxes and 3 tax, which, you know, I'll take. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of what we need. Uh, you're invited to a hunt. I don't know if I can afford to go to a hunt, honestly, Oliver. Uh, I kind of need to keep my money. I mean, I guess I could get... Hmm. That's not... Hmm. Yeah, I should actually go on hunts because I could get artifacts that I could sell for money. <laughs> That's a horrible reason to go on a hunt, but okay. We could do it. Uh, he's got 12. Okay, 12 prowess. Uh, Martin Force. There we go. He can then take that position. Wonderful. People are dying in my dungeons. I have people in my dungeons? Any of them worth any money? Four gold? Honestly, I'll take four gold. Oh, oh, you don't have any money anymore? You have minus zero. Wonderful. How about you? You also have no money. <sighs> I guess I could let you go for a hook or something. Yeah. Anyway, I'll get my four gold for the free. Thank you. I will go on your hunt in a second. Right, um, you can send people to the Night's Watch. There you go, I'll send you to the Night's Watch. You, be banished from the realm, well, um, banished and renounce your claims. Okay, be banished, person, Tanara, um, be banished. Um, Sebaston? Guess what? You're banished. Oh, they won't accept- he won't accept it. He's an outsider. Wait a second. He is an outsider. You're- you're not accepting it. <laughs> I think is what it's saying here. Or- or- okay, I'm not sure. Anyway, um... I don't know, you want to join my team? Sure, welcome to the- to the court. You. I can banish you. It's an act of tyranny. All right, um, don't really want to do that because people will be very unhappy at me for doing that. I guess I will gain a weak hook on you and let you go. The reason you have to take something is otherwise you lose dread, so we'll do that. Cosgrove, I will banish you. Oh, I'm not allowed that. It would give me 25 gold if I could get him to accept. Uh, I will recruit you. Okay, fine. Where's your hunt? Estamon Isles. Absolutely not. You know how far away that is? I mean, I know how far away that is. That's like all the, all the way over here, right? Yeah, that's absolute miles away. Yeah. No. I would go to one if it was close, but that's the other side of the country. Right. Okay. Arrange marriage. All right. Doesn't bother me one way or another. Okay. Burying the hatchet. Yeah, let's stop being rivals. Mainly because I didn't really want to be a rival with you in the first place. Okay, prisoners are gone. Wonderful. Secret exposed. Um, Lord Joffrey of Giant Scars accused my vassal, Lord Gerald, of having copulated with my vassal lady, Kalira. Um... It's not but malice and lies. That's what we'll say. Um, Greetings, my benign liege. Please accept this humble gift. It's not much, but I hope it is of use to our continued friendship. You want to give me 150 gold? Well, I'm not proud. I'll take 150 gold off of you. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was very nice of him. <laughs> Everyone else is like, I can give you gold? No, you're like, declare me regent. No. Next. Alright, Crow's Barrens. That's like somewhere in here, right? Nope. Alright, that's not that far. The other option? Lord John. Uh, that's an, uh, that's at Ranta, which is bottom right? No, it's right there. That's even closer. You win. 
What is this? It's so dangerous. Why are we taking a different route there and back? So many questions. All right. Well, we need to pay for a caravan master to go there. So let's go with this dude who is apparently good at it. So that'll probably be... Well, that makes it a lot less dangerous. Why are we taking a different route there and back? What what could... It must be the same distance or something. Uh, we can do superior mounts for no um, additional cost. Okay. Um, what's this? So this is because of county control major and then hills. This is hills. So do we have someone who would help us in hills? Uh, mercenary guards would help us in hills, but that's not really what I was asking. Uh, I think we'll be fine. It costs four gold. Wait, can I not go on this? I can go on this. Okay, that's fine. I was also... I'm, done, I'm not really worried that I'm taking a different way there and back. We'll just take it. Lines about legacy. I don't read poetry. That's, that's a rule I have. I just choose the bottom option and we move on. The bottom option is always fine, so we will always choose it. What? We, we didn't go to the hunt, though. What, what, what do you mean? Oh, no, these people didn't go to the hunt. That's not us. This is us. Oh, okay then. Declare me regent. No. Gift artifact. Lucky rabbit's paw? Oh, I will treasure it always. Um, it, It's my favorite lucky rabbit. Oh, it's gone. There we go. We've arrived. We arrived a little early for this. We arrived um, 37 days before it begins. Yep. I always find it weird that you can arrive to events so early. It's like, yeah, I just turned up 37 days early, right? You have a bed for me, right? Okay. Lord Ellery assembles the party as the sun rises over the hunting grounds nestled in at Ranta's wilderness. The local game keepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. This is clearly... Uh, there. They is clearly a stout boar in the area. There is clearly a start boar in the area. Dangerous but worthy game. Ultimately, Lord John decides he wants to hunt a boar today. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. Uh, okay, people are impressing us. We're finding tracks. 72% right now. Let's go. We're going to corner the bear, which is perilous. The kill. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and squealing in panic. Lord Ho uh, John hefts his spear and cautiously moves towards the exhausted animal. Lord John chooses his moment carefully, plunging the blade deep into its heart. A fine kill. I don't think I got anything from this. I mean, I got some hunter trait experience, which I guess is valuable in its own way. Cool. That's fine. We're homeward bound. After a long day of travel, the horizon starts to blend into warm colours. I take a moment to pause, close my eyes, breathe. Careful, my caravan master, Andred, screams, pointing at the plains, minor road, be on the path we follow. What looks like a small rodent is running into the wild, and after it, a brown figure I easily recognise. That's Catterly. Why did I bring my cat with me on a hunting trip? Uh, quick, everybody, save my cat. It doesn't take much to track the growling and broken twigs down to their origin. Catterly sits over a leaf, a leaf litter, licking her brown paws from the blood of her victim. The squirrel is almost unrecognizable right next to her. The adventurous pet for prowess. I'll never take my eyes off you again. We'll get the prowess. Uh, flawed fair. Andred is in charge of our food supplies and sheepishly reveals our provisions are now all but useless, having been poorly stored. Patches of mold cover the bread and fresh produce, and we have quickly used up the remaining our remaining used up the remaining our remaining dried fruit. Something seems to be going wrong in these events here. The party grows hungry as dusk begins to uh, fall. So you can say it's just a bit of mold. Nature will provide for us, or the locals must have something. Let's say the locals must have something. Okay. It's fine. I don't want anything that says I have a chance of dying. Two years, almost a day since they first set foot in my halls, the same three envoys of the Iron Bank of Bravos return. They want their money back after two years. 
They begin with the niceties, the compliments on my land, my keep, the attentiveness of my servants. I have no allusions to their purpose. No sooner have the cor courtesies left their mouths than they get to the sharp point of their visit. Lord Corwin, the payment for the loan you took against the Iron Bank of Bravos has come due. The lead envoy says, There is not a drop of incivility in his manner, yet a chill still runs down my spine. Um, I can say I can't afford to pay. In which case, interest goes off. I pay it off in full or I'm not going to pay that. Well, I'm going to pay it off. There goes my money. <laughs> okay, Architect's Digest. Terence has lost a, a deep in thought when our entourage arrives in the quarries of Sagebrush. He's leaned over a large, roughly cut wooden table, absorbing in drawing something on the scroll. I lean in closer over his shoulder, drawing his attention. My lord, I did not notice you there. My sincere apologies. I inquire what he's up to, and Terence replies, Oh, I'm drawing up my thoughts on construction, the building of foundations. I'm quite the architect, you see. He smiles shyly. And say, I'll take one of the drawings. I'm not going to pay that much for it. Your skills will be useful in my court, or keep up the good work. Keep up the good work, Terence. Right. We've arrived back. And we are now... Uh, we're pretty much set. We're probably going to go to that grand tournament. We're looking for any opportunity to make money. But things are not too bad. Our realm is stable. People don't hate us, which is generally a good place to be. We have no money, but people don't hate us. So we'll see what we can do with that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.